If you have a lamp with a phenolic socket, you can replace it with a standard socket or a three-way socket. Phenolic lamp sockets are made out of a plastic-like material that looks like antique sockets made out of Bakelite. Unplug your lamp and remove the outer shell by unscrewing the top of it. In many lamps with a phenolic socket, the wires are connected directly to the socket. They don't have screw terminals. To replace the socket, you're just going to cut off the old wires. Now you can unscrew the base. On the new lamp socket, squeeze the outer shell and separate it and the socket from the base. You're going to screw the new base onto the lamp. Some will have a set screw that will need to be tightened. Pull the lamp cord up a few inches and you're going to separate the individual wires Pull them apart and the insulation will separate. We need to create an underwriter's knot. To create an underwriter's knot, you're going to take one wire and loop it down in front of the cord. Take the other wire and loop it down in back of the cord and then you're going to pull the ends through the loops you've created. And just pull it into a loose knot. You can pull down on the cord to get the knot in the bottom of the base. You want to strip off about three quarters of an inch of insulation off both wires and most lamp cord is going to be 18 gauge stranded wire. Twist the stranded wire together and then you want to create a loop on each wire so it will stay underneath the screw terminal. On a polarized lamp plug, you have one blade that's narrow and one blade that's wide. The narrow blade is the hot wire. The wide blade is the neutral wire. The insulation on the side with the hot wire is smooth and the insulation is ribbed on the wire that's neutral. On your lamp socket, you're going to have a brass screw terminal and a silver screw terminal. You're going to connect the hot wire, the wire with the smooth insulation, to the brass screw terminal, and the neutral wire, the wire with the ribbed insulation, on the silver screw terminal. With your loop, wrap it around the screw terminal in a clockwise direction. If you wrap it counterclockwise, it could potentially push off from the screw. Now you're going to connect the outer shell to the base. Make sure the insulating sleeve is inside the shell. Set it over the base and line up your knob where you want it. And then push straight down to snap it in place. Now you can plug it in, put in a bulb, and test it.